In this video, we are going to calculate the packing efficiency of a face-centered cubic unit cell. All right, so here's your uh, face-centered cubic unit cell. It's a cubic unit cell in which you have uh, an atom or a sphere in each corner of the cube, and then you have uh, one sphere at the face of each one uh, of the six faces of the cube. Right, so uh, this unit cell represents uh, actually one of the unit cells for the closest packed lattices that we have studied, okay. and uh, it's actually the, the best way to pack spheres in, in space. Okay, so the efficiency that we're going to get out of this video is the largest you can ever get for packing spheres. Right, so the question is how do we calculate that number? How do we calculate that packing efficiency? Well, first we're going to define what the packing efficiency is, which is simply uh, the number or the, the ratio of the volume occupied by atoms over the total volume in the unit cell. Okay, so that is going to be our operating definition. This uh, packing efficiency or fraction of volume occupied is simply equal to the volume of the atoms and then divided over the uh, total volume. Alright, so how do we calculate uh, these two numbers? Well, the total volume uh, seems straightforward. Right? If we define uh, this side of the cube, or the edge of the cube, as E, then uh, the total volume is simply going to be equal to E cubed. Okay, so V sub T is going to be E cubed. All right, and then uh, we have to calculate what is the volume occupied by the atoms. Well, uh, we know that the atoms, we're considering that they're uh, spheres, right? So we know that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi and then the radius of the uh, sphere uh, cubed. All right, so because there's four atoms in the face-centered uh, cubic unit cell, then the volume occupied by the atoms is going to be four times the volume occupied by one atom, which is uh, four-thirds pi, and then the radius of the atom cubed. Okay, All right, so uh, this we have to divide over E cubed. And a problem that we have right there is that, well, um, uh, nothing seems to cancel out to get a number like uh, a 0.5, which would correspond to 50% packing efficiency, or 0.7, right? So uh, something that we have to do is try to put this uh, edge as a function of the radius of the atom, so that uh, you, can, you can have some sort of uh, term cancellation right there. And that is something that we're going to be able to do using the phase diagonal here. Notice that the uh, diagonal of one of the faces of this cube is going to be equal to uh, the uh, 4 times the uh, radius of one of the spheres. Right? Notice that this phase diagonal will be uh, one radius of that sphere, and then uh, two radii, and then another radii. So uh, 4 radii of those atoms is going to be equal to this phase diagonal. Okay, And using the Pythagorean uh, theorem, we can see that there's a relationship between this edge, what we want in the total volume of that unit cell, and the phase diagonal. Right? Notice that f squared is has to be equal to e squared plus e squared. Okay, so from here, from these two relationships, we're going to be able to find um, uh, what the edge is in terms of the radius of those atoms, and then we will be able to replace it here and calculate what the packing efficiency would be. All right, so let's go uh, step by step here. Notice that 4r squared is going to be uh, 16 r squared. That is going to be equal to 2e squared. So what this tells us is that e is going to be equal to uh, 8r squared, square root of that. Okay, or this is the same thing as saying that this is going to be uh, the square root of, root of 8, which simply I'm going to write as 8 to the one half times r, which is the radius of um, your atom. Okay, so this is the edge, and that means that the volume then is going to be e cubed. So this is going to be e eight to the three halves multiplied by r cubes. Okay, and then we can finally come to our packing efficiency, and then uh, find out that this is going to be equal to uh, eight to the three halves over r cubed, okay, which makes the calculation relatively straightforward. Notice that those r cubed terms cancel out, 
And then you simply have here uh, 16 over 3 pi. Sixteen over three pi divided over uh, eight to the three halves. Okay, so when you calculate that, this number is zero point seventy four. Okay, which means that uh, in a face centered cubic unit cell, seventy four percent of the space is occupied by atoms. Only twenty six percent of the space is empty. That is the highest packing efficiency that you can have uh, in solids. And uh, you can see in the, uh, uh, what we have done here, how you can uh, connect, again, that packing efficiency uh, to the geometry uh, of this face-centered cubic unit cell.